like it, right? Yes. <laughs> what is going on here? And why are you exchanging body heat? It's not heat I change. It's gifts he gives. Give it back. You cannot accept gifts from him. Why can't she accept gifts from him? Why? Is she not deserving of something good because she's a maid? That is not your call to make. I am sure the maidens in your palace do not receive gifts from you. Ramon, what do you want? Salusa is not a baby. She's an adult. She can decide to do what she wants to do, where and how she wants to do it without your permission. Now let me remind you, I brought her here that makes her my responsibility. So she's going to do as I say. You're not keeping that gift. You hear me? But Dalimo, thank you. I keep the gift. Yeah, I go. Welcome. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? Why do you care so much about Solusa? Is it because she's your responsibility? Oh, do you like her and you don't know how to say it? <laughs> Ramon, you think everyone is like you that has this crazy idea about a perfect love and, and, and soulmates irrespective of status? I am not like you and I don't trust your intentions around her. Excuse me. I will find out what is eating you up, my friend. Trust me. What did I just witness? Prince Ramon bought you a gift? I does not ask. I does not request. I does not want. You give me gift. Do you know for a slave? I think you are too ambitious. I don't like it. What is your plan? You, you want to have Prince Ramon tied around your fingers and then make my own Prince Mike look at you as a big brother being possessed about you because I don't understand it. What's your plan? What I do, Princess, what I do? I stay my stay. Prince Ramon, give me gifts. I does not ask gifts. What I do? There's something about you that I do not understand. Looking at where you came up from, I think you are here with a lot of shams, right? To have the princess round your fingers, right? Is that your plan? Aha, uh -huh. you are failed, woefully. Do you hear me? You are failed, woefully, because I cannot even stand you. Or do you think that I will be the same thing as you? Nah, that's not possible. You are, you are so disgusting. I know you not me. Me nice, you wicked. You not me. Auntie Fine, you not me. Look at the way you speak. Your stupid English. Your English can sh shatter and destroy bottles. But the way you swear men into your house is what I do not understand. For the last time, your charms will not work. And I cannot even stand you again. What do you think? That I will be a queen and then you a queen? How? It can't work. It's not possible. Do you hear me? Because that will happen if someone keeps seeing you as, as is it a girlfriend or having love, love interest with you. Because I don't get it. What's the problem? I does not want queen. I stay my stay. Ramon give me gifts. I does not plan queen. With all this, your stupid attitudes, you do not want queen. It's your ambition and it will not work. I will disgrace you and make you the slave that you are. You are a slave. A slave must be a slave. You cannot be a queen. Do you hear me? Antifine wickedness, what I do. What I do. What I oh, you do. You want to know what you have done, right? I'm answering your question. You want to know what you have done? Yes. Go down your knees. Eh? Go down on your knees. Auntie, beautiful finest. Since you call I stand, she does not talk anything. What you want? I bring you sweet color water or I bring tea. What you want? Why you call? Do not question me. Stay right there until I'm done. When I'm okay, I'll let you know why I called you. Is that okay? I stay there. Don't stress me. I stay there. Beautiful place. Today you're nice. I stay there. You say I stay there. What? On my bed! With your with your stupid body! You say I stay there. I I Jeez. <laughs> oh my it god! Ow! It pains you. Ow! Flog you flog, it pains me like this. Ow! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> it burns you! Get out! It burns! <laughs> <laughs> 
You see, I thought very hard and long about our conversation yesterday. You're right anyways. You see, I would do same if she were to be entrusted under my care. Thanks for acknowledging the truth. So that means you will seek the hand of a noble bride. Oh, <laughs> you're getting it all wrong. You see, um, my father has no issue in class or status. He's a very big promoter of true love. Who believes love has no bounds? So, what are you trying to say? I really like Sulusa. She makes me very happy. And I'm ready to fight for her hand in love. Um, I, my intentions for her are very pure. So don't bother yourself about me taking advantage of the poor maid. You selfish bastard. Why do you only care about your desires and not her plight? Do you think your people will open their hands for an illiterate and ignorant maid from the neighboring kingdom as their queen? Now let me tell you, if you don't know, the royal politics is bigger than your love and romance. And my love is fierce and relentless. So big to combat any opposition that will come against my happiness. Why don't you let me bother about my kingdom and my people? Just do not stand in my way. Raymond, you don't know what you're saying. Believe you me, you don't know what you're saying. Don't be an impediment to my desire. I never knew a day like this would come that I will envy this bush girl. Imagine Prince Ramon, you know, like in love with this local thing. Have you noticed that the prince is against it? I mean, he acted like a big brother by telling Prince Ramon to stay away. Oh. Oh. Hey, like that trash got the attention of two future kings. Eh? Hey, come. Where are you? Which soap they take back for your village? Come, come and tell me. Come. Yes, does not catch you. Come and cut soap for me. Fierce does not catch you. My friend, come and cut you soap. You gossip, gossip in my back. You gossip, gossip in my face. Cut soap. I tell you something. Prince Ramon, me, friendship. No love. I tell Prince Ramon, no love. I hmm. tell him not in love. Story. Hmm. Or is she hmm. trying to show off by pretending to reject the affection of a prince? You know, I knew it. Village girls like this knows how to use their ignorance and craziness to manipulate and hook a man. Look at her. Hmm. Anyway, I agree with you. But if it's in her destiny to become a future queen, then who knows? No. Prince Ramon is infatuated. He saw us clean, well-spoken and educated. Yet, he thinks he likes this trash. Or did you feed him with that a love potion in so, the so, herbal so, healing so, you so, gave to him? So, 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 so. I walk now, does not call again. You gossip me my back, you call me my present, you gossip. Crazy? Crazy? Big chief, big chief. Call, I answer. Majestic, call, I answer. Big princess, call, I answer. Does not call again. Does not call again. Your Majesty, you sent for me. Yes. We want to know exactly what is delaying the royal wedding. Tell us. You promised that once you return from the adventure, you'll get married. It's three months you returned. Until now, you're not even making any move towards getting married. Well, I... 
I knew you were going to ask sooner or later, but I was just wondering what was taking so long. Son, we have patiently waited for you to use your discretion. But your intention of getting married is not forthcoming, or so it seems. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Do you love each other? Oh. Huh. That's not that. I love your mother. Why are you bringing the issue of love? Because I am envious of Ramon. His father gave his blessings to marry for love. He is to marry whomever he wants, despite her class, background, or status. Okay. Do you have anyone you love? Is that going to make any difference? It will not. We cannot change the tradition of night. Who has been here before our fathers. The next king is supposed to marry a royal blood. She is to rule beside him. Exactly my point. I will get married, but I just need some time to prepare. Son, the time is now. You cannot engage Mildred for so long without properly getting married to her. It's considered a evil. If you want them forever to get married. My princess, what's the problem? You don't look happy. What's wrong? Your Majesty, it's been eight months I got engaged to the prince. Yet he doesn't talk to me about anything concerning marriage. That is not a problem at all. The king and I have spoken to him, and he says he needs time. Mother. What if he doesn't want me anymore and he wants somebody else? Could you stop? Don't talk like that. The prince he has not requested for the engagement to be broken, which is a good sign. I, I believe he's experiencing some kind of cold feet. But you come around. Your Majesty, this is not helping me at all. My friends that we all got engaged at the same time are married now. Then they used to be envious of me that I got chosen as the next queen of this kingdom. But now they mock me, saying that I could not please the prince. Mildred, that should not bother you. The king and I will order him to do the needful if it comes to that. The prince must marry you before this month runs out. I got your back. Okay? Thanks, mother. Can you not cheer up? Your Majesty, please, I need more time. There is the freedom that we have given to you is what you make you think that as the heir apparent to the throne of my fathers, you have a choice. You have always trusted me to do the right thing. Why can't you trust me one more time? On this one, you are not thinking right. You are becladded by ideas of love, therefore drifting away from the, a, a long-standing tradition. Son, everything we have done, we have done for you and the next generation. We have walked in the path of our forefathers, and we expect you to follow suit. I'm walking our footsteps. Look, I am not talking to you as your father only. I am speaking as the supreme ruler of Shalusha Kingdom. You are getting married in three weeks. Your Majesty, please, don't do this. Your opinion is not needed in this matter. Obedience is better than sacrifice. <laughs> Finally, the palace is busy and full of life. Mm -hmm. Yes, so <laughs> the long awaited royal wedding is in two weeks. Hmm. Uh, it looks like the royal house has an enemy of progress within it. What do you mean? Who is that? 
How can you explain Sulusa's long face, even now that everyone is happy with the upcoming royal wedding? Look at her. That's true. That confirms our suspicion. Maybe she's in love with the prince, and hearing that he is getting married upsets her. Hmm? Why is your face like that? Cha 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 cha. Cha 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 cha. You talk about me. I'm here. He does not ask me. Just talk, 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 talk. Why he oh. talks like that? Okay, let me ask you, hmm? madam. Why are you not happy for the prince? Hmm. Or are you liking his protectiveness over you? Maybe you wish he would love and marry you. <laughs> My friend, that can only happen in your dreams. Hmm. I does not answer you. You, I talk to you. Because this one, open mouth, nonsense come, rubbish come, death come. It does not answer. You see, Prince, Prince nice, Prince good man. Prince Mary, I happy. Because Prince my friend. My friend. But my problem is anti fine wickedness. Mm. She brings forever no happiness. No happiness. She does not make Prince happy. That I worry oh. for my friend. Oh. You worry about the royals. Why are you worried about the royals? You. <laughs> you don't have to worry about the royals. Allow them worry on their own, okay? Not everyone has to be a clown like you to make others happy. You are worried about the royals. Let's go and get it. I would have said congratulations on your upcoming wedding, but seeing how miserable you look, <laughs> what more can I say than it will be all right, eh? Okay, the hmm? oh, Can you stop with your sarcasm? Huh? Getting married now will be a disaster. I cannot get married. Don't tell me you are scared of getting married to Mildred this much. Or are you indirectly using your responsibility to Solusa as an excuse? What are you even saying? Does that make sense to you? What has Solusa got to do with this? Everything. Everything. Because I am trying as much as I can to understand why you have someone's daughter engaged for seven months. And you don't even look like you want to get married to her. Look, I did not call you here to analyze me. Okay? Okay. I have a personal problem that I'm dealing with. I just want you to give me ideas that can overpower the king's veto command. That's all. Is there a thing like that? Uh, okay, maybe the gods or possibly the force of nature. The force of nature? Yeah. That would work. Yeah, that, that, that would definitely work. But how do you intend to use the force of nature to overpower the king's veto? <laughs> Did I say I will? You, my friend here, is going to use nature to delay this marriage. Come on, let's go. Put inside tea. Gives him. Eh. Is, is it poison? Like. Is poison? It... Poison, I ask. Why poison? I kiss people. I reach us? No, I no, reach us. No, 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 no. See, I, in as much as he doesn't want to get married, he wouldn't also want to die. I does not care. Put this make co, 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 co sickness. Week five sickness. Uh, five weeks. After strong again. Okay, okay. I, I think this is going to help. Yes. Put small, small inside tea. Now sick. 
Yes. Catch go, catch yes. go, catch yes. go. Body hot. Mm -hmm. Later, body strong. But does not tell anybody I give. You tell I give, I have problem because Prince wants. Prince wants, Prince say, stay, stay your stay, does not go everywhere in palace. I, I think I understand what you're saying, but please, um, I'm not going to tell anybody, okay? It's a secret between me and you. Thank you very much. Does not open. Thanks. They don't know what she has in her. It seems uh, his state of health is not too good. Yeah, very critical, Your Highness. I'm sorry he has to be watched for at least the next five weeks. What? Five weeks. F five what? Doctor, that is a long time. The royal wedding is in two weeks. That won't, I don't think that would be possible. Yes, he, he won't engage in any strenuous activity. The royal wedding inclusive. I mean, he has to be here, you know, watched over, treated until I certify him fit. So I've made some prescriptions and the nurse I came with will soon arrive with the drugs. Your Highness, I beg to leave. You have my permission. Your Majesty, I am worried. He, he was fine yesterday. Don't you think the pressure of the wedding is making him fall sick like this? I wish I have an answer. However, five weeks is too much a time to keep our prospective in-laws waiting. There is no wedding until the prince recovers. I will send message across to them. That's sad. Oh, please, let's, let's leave him alone. Um, can can I be with him a bit? No, a, a, no, a little while. you need to rest. Please, let's go. My love, you know okay? So sorry. Let's go. doing here? Who sent you here? Tea I bring for you. You came here to mock me? Why I mock? You came here to laugh at me? You are happy that I am not getting married, right? What I do? This is all your fault! <laughs> what I do? I sickness that sick prince, no. I is not sickness. What I do? You have a dark spirit around you. You are a witch. You came into this palace with a dark spirit. Since you came here, nothing is working anymore. Everything is just going wrong every day. What is it? Who are you? Who sent you here? What do you want? Get out. Come back here and, 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 and take this nonsense with you. This person, take it. Just get out. Go. Get out.
time is here. You have to put your hand on my hands. Put your hands and chanted this chant with me. If you does not do it now, I shall die. You're so gullible. I'm surprised you still believe in this superstitious nonsense. You talks believe. Eh hey, hey, you are right. It is the belief I believe that shall kills me. I know he does not want me to live. He wanted me to die so that you can be free. No problem. If he does not put your hand, I shall die. What are you saying? Put your hand and chant the moon chant with me. <sighs> Look, I, I don't believe whatever you're saying, but if you think me putting my hands or holding your hands is going to save you or not, let you die, then I'll do it. Push. Uh, right or left? The hand I put you put. <laughs> Half is not completed until the other's half joins it. Now he joins. They are happy. They are happy. They are bonded. Bonded. They come together. They are strong. Yes. And nobody, no man or woman or death has separated them again. The moon is happy. when I was told you were here without my knowledge. Since when do you visit without a call? Since I realized that friendship is good, but a man in love yields to no protocols. What are you talking about? A very ripe and priceless apple is about to be plucked in your kingdom. And if you are my friend, you will support my happiness. Are we still talking about Solusa? Why can't you let this illusion you call love go? Why can't you support my choice? Why? Are you not my friend? Oh, you are embarrassed that your best friend is in love with a maid. You are obsessed, Raymond. I am not obsessed. I am in love. And I'm pretty sure you will never understand because in your whole life, you have never been in love. Listen, I am not here to see you. I am here to see her. And the next time you call my love names, I will not forgive you. They don't know what she has in her. She's the girl of my dreams. Ooh, no matter what. Raymond. I will make... Ah, easy, 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 please. I stop. I stop pain, sit down. No. I do pain, go. Yes, pain. Pain, go. Yes, pain. I take ah. pain. Mm. Mm, no, but this, 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 this happened when I was diving from a tree to you. Well, I'm glad I caught the animal. You go bush, you careful. Yes, I will. I will next time, you know. You go bush, you see bush meat. Long time not eat bush meat. Oh, 
Now miss bush meat. Where, where? My village, I go bush, I bring bush meat. I eat every every day. I eat. Oh, um, see, you're lucky this time because I caught a very big antelope. You bring for me? Yes. Next time I'm coming here, I'm going to bring you a chunk of meat. Okay? I will. And um, <clears throat> I've been meaning to ask you something. Would you love to leave the palace? Like, stay with me, you make me happy, I make you happy, and you don't, you don't have to be a maid no more. Just come with me. Yes. Yes. Leave palace problem. Because here, somebody bring. Me cannot go like that. Because somebody bring. So before leave, you tell king, you tell prince, you tell queen. Approver, leave. Okay, okay. In, in that case, I will, I will talk to the king and the queen myself. Your friend, you talk? See, the king is going to approve it. That I am sure about. And once the king approves of it, the prince has nothing to say. Your friend does not agree. Problem, problem, boy. Problem, problem for me. Let me bother about that, okay? The most important thing is you accepting to stay with me. Hmm. I think. I think because here I suffer. Here, flog, flog, beat, shout, beat, almost kill. Frying pan, frying pan. Now, maybe your place, I does not know, fire. I move frying pan, I go fire. I does not want. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on, you will be very comfortable. I will take care of you. Okay? I think it. I think it. Okay. Now, 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 I cannot give answer. I think, I meditate, I reason, I come back to you. Okay. You must be carried away hearing those sweet words from Ramon. <laughs> you mean my friend, Ramon? He's a kindness man. He cannot be your friend. There is no genuine friendship between royals and commoners. How stupid can you be? If you cannot fit to make friend with commoner, does not mean that my friend Remo cannot fit to make friendship with me. I have come to tell you to stop. Stop whatever you're doing or thinking. Do you hear me? Why you say? No, why you say? You say you cannot fit to make friend with commoner. Why he concern you with what I do with Remo? Because I brought you here. If anything happens to you, you are my responsibility. I does not want it like that. I take care of me. Yes, I am an adult. If a man sees me and he comments and say, I like you. If I like him, it is okay. If I does not like him, I say no. Sulusa, do not get me angry. Do not get me angry. Stop entertaining Ramon. She knows that uh, any attempt on my life will bring an ultimate end to her. This one? Her life means nothing. Who is she? A lowly maid. The lowest of them all. Your Majesty, she is not even a royal physician. How can you trust her with your heart portion? Your heart treatment portion? This one that did not even go to school. Does she know the quantity she will give you as a dosage? Well, um, I, I just want to trust her because she's from a place where they specialize in orthodox medicine. I will do myself injustice if I do not use this opportunity to bring a lasting solution to my email. Your Majesty, there could be side effects that might lead into complications. Wait, are you desperate for this healing that you have risked it all? 
Why don't you stick to the normal medication our royal physician prescribed for you? Like you've been doing, sitting out here. What are you doing with this girl? Let my feet work for me. A kingdom blessed with riches. What have you done? Your Majesty, Your Majesty. What have you done? You know, he's not, you're, he's, you're not the only one that's going to die. I will make sure I want the entire community. It's okay. It's okay. Leave. God! Quiet. Killings. Quiet. Well, are you okay? Yes, I, I am healed. <laughs> what are you talking about? I am healed. <laughs> He goes. <coughs> the pains in the heart and my ligaments, they are all gone. Ah. Oh, what can this king do to appreciate? Ah, nothing. My place helps day. We does not take money. We give helps. Thanks, star. Thanks, sun. Thank moon. Money, no. Take money, spoil helps. Mm. I go. I go. You, you can go. I, can, I go. I can't thank the moon and the sun. Oh. Oh, the pits are gone. You can't imagine. Where is she? I'm here. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I feel so good. <laughs> I could go hiking if you agree with me. <laughs> you to say I am so happy you're completely healed. Oh, all thanks to Slosa. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I'm even thinking of promoting her from the rank of a maid to a palace physician. Of course, uh, you know, she's here with her uh, uh, good medicine and herb. That if you promote her from that rank of a maid to a palace physician, it will be of a benefit for the royal household. What do you think? Your Majesty. Yes? Isn't that too hasty a decision to make? This solution you're talking about does not have a proper, a formal education. I believe this thing she did, she was just, just being lucky. And you know, because of that poor educational background, she may not know the actual uh, uh, dosage to prescribe. And too much of this thing you're talking about may kill. Can kill someone. So let's give her time. Let's see that she is not lucky, but skilled and knowledgeable in what she's doing. I agree with the queen, father. In a hurry. If you ask me, Sulusa came with the herbs. Oh. Uh -huh. And it's only her community that grows it. What happens if she runs out? Okay. What will she do? Then doctor or physician will collapse. She can't be a physician without the herbs. Father, Father, I am happy she healed you, but I, I think we should just let her be. You know, without the herb, no doctor. So let her, just leave her where she is. As in me, let her. Everything you want to do. They look so happy together. Seems your best friend is in love. He shouldn't be. This love is not going to happen. Why? <laughs> Because you are that big brother who would not allow his younger sister to be friends with his friend. Hmm? How many times do I have to remind you that Sulusa is my responsibility? Oh. I'm just trying to ensure she doesn't get hurt. Your Highness, you say that a lot. But your reaction is different. And what is my reaction? <laughs> you look like one possessed lover of his wife, seeing his wife with another man. Like, you want to go mad? That's how you react and that's how you look. Me? Mm -hmm. Possessed? Mm -hmm. Salusa. <laughs> In my weirdest dream, okay? Look at her. She's not my class. 
let alone my type. Can you get that crazy idea out of your head? Fine, Your Highness, fine. Well, you know what? I, I, I don't like when you look like this. You look like one possessive lover. Like one overprotective fellow. Right? Your Highness, come on. Because of your health, our wedding was postponed. I feel you should be concerned about that more than this, Your Highness. Your Highness. Can you stop? What do you want? Uh, huh? What do you want? Why are you looking so long? Your Majesty, I am afraid. The royal wedding will not go as you have planned. What is your observation? Our son does not love Mildred. And what worries me the most is that he does not love anyone either. What if he does not marry her? After making her wait for close to one year, what are we going to do? What are people going to say about us? He must do according to what you have commanded him to do. The choice of his marriage is not so in his. So he must genuflate to the alliance we are building. We have nothing to worry about. Your Majesty, what if our son ends up living a sad and unhappy life because of the choices we imposed on him? The happiness and joy of a king comes with him, not from a distant infatuation. I got for you. Yeah. Hey! Beautiful, beautiful flowers. Yes. Where I, I plant? I plant here. Yeah? Oh. I plant there. Yeah? I plant there. I bought them for you, not for you to plant them. Not plant what I do. Don't you understand the gesture of a man presenting a flower to a lady? It's another way of me telling or showing you that I have feelings for you. Now you talk I don't understand. You feel for me, why you feel for me? I seek sick, you feel for me. I injure, you feel for me. Why? No, no, Salusa, see, ever since you came into my life, my life has got more meaning and I love you and this, listen, this is not I does not take flower. I does not take. See, love, bring this, I does not take. Salusa, this is not a game. I am serious and I'm ready to marry you and make you my queen. Mm -mm. I know. I know what you do. You love me, no. Me make you laugh, yes. Now you want to deceive. You no. want to deceive. No, no, no. I am grown up. I know what I feel inside. And I know what I feel inside of me now is love for you. It's not just the laugh. I love you. Me, you cannot love. Me, you, good friendship. Yes, yes, good friendship. Love, no. No. Does so not listen. tell me love again. You tell me love, I stop friendship. Talk love, friendship, no, go. No, no, no. See. Not tell me love again. Don't. Not tell me feeling. Feeling, feeling, feeling. Keep yourself. Not tell so, me. Solusa, don't, don't walk I away. Go. See. I go. Solusa, can you give it a second thought? Like... Take your time and no one sees what I can you just sit down? I don't feel like sitting down. I am so upset right now. Why are you upset? Because I was rejected. Solusa have the nerves to reject my love proposal. Really? Oh, uh sorry about that. But if you have any pride left in you as a royal prince, you will just Walk away and let it go. Contrary to that, my dear friend, it has given me the ginger, the pressure that I need to push harder. I will not let her be. Do you even know how it feels for a common maid to reject the proposal of a prince? Come to think of it, which man in his right senses would let go of a commoner who has no greed in her? Which man? Well, why do you want to reduce your value? Do you know 
that men have values? If a man with value is rejected, he walks away and considers it as a loss for the woman, for not seeing the great in him. Alright, now let me remind you that my love is shameless and it has no pride in it. I love Sulusa and I will not let her go. I will make her my queen. And where are you going to start from? Huh? Where? That girl has no brain to learn. She is a stuck illiterate. All right, my dear friend. I appreciate your effort, your concern. But you know what? Let me take care of this. Let me handle that. I will not give up on Slusa. So the earlier you get that in your head, the better for you. Ramon, your royal prince. Why are you beating yourself up for a, an illiterate, a maid? sees what I see They don't know what she has In her She's the girl of my How are you? Sorry, your father. Prince Max said he doesn't want to see anybody inside. I'm sorry. Well, um, <clears throat> I'm here to see Salusa. Can I at least meet with her? No, I'm sorry. You can't see her. The prince ordered that nobody should come inside. Meanwhile, she is very busy and he complained that you are distracting her chores in the palace. <laughs> really? Um, <clears throat> tell the prince, my friend, that we are best friends and he shouldn't be like this. Tell him I deserve an apology for this insult. No one sees what I see. They don't know what she has in her. She's the girl of my dreams. Lock the gate. And listen. On no account should you open gate for him next time. Please. Chief God, come. Send the chief maiden to me. What have you been doing with Sulusa that she has so much free time to be playing around the palace? My prince, she does everything assigned to her. Well, whatever you're giving her is not enough. She's too free. Assign her back to my chambers. Suddenly? But you are once the one that asked or rejected her. Did I tell you I forgot? Reassign her back to my chambers. Princess Midred, she won't like this. Are you still talking? Are you disobeying my orders? Sorry, my prince. I will do as you commanded. Leave. Do not allow him into this palace. All of you. Next time, don't allow that stupid gate man to open gate for him again. Hope you heard me. You don't announce yourself before coming in. Why should I? Why should I be concerned about courtesy when I'm actually very pissed? Your Highness, what do I hear? That you ask them to assign that dirty maid to your room. Why? Are you seriously asking me to explain myself? Look, the fact that we are engaged and you being the princess consort does not make us equals. Your Highness, are you by any means trying to ignore or avoid my questions? I do not understand. 
What is happening, your highness? It is so bad enough that people say you are so engrossed with that dirty maid. You are acting so possessed about her. You check her around, how she moves and what she eats. Where she goes to, like one possessed lover. That's so disgusting already. Your Highness, please, what is going on? Now, if you think it's because we're in a relationship, you deserve an explanation. All I can tell you is I am only carrying out my responsibilities for her. <laughs> Your Highness, please. What sort of responsibility? I ask you. That dirty girl is... A, she's a grown woman and can take care of herself. Why are you mopping like you are, you, you are feeding an infant? I do not understand, Your Highness. Why are you working yourself up? Do I smell insecurity? Does the maid being close to me scare you? Why can't you believe that I am completely into us? That whatever I'm doing is because of the promise I made to her mother? Your Highness, I do not doubt you. Not at all. I doubt that stupid girl. Yes, because she has succeeded in seducing Peace Ramon. And is so into her already. She's here to make great men fall on her feet. And your highness, my prince, you are aiding her by trying to bring her close to you. All in the name of responsibility, your highness. Now let me tell you something. Sulusa and I can never be. My heart can never waver for her. Mm. Relax, princess. Now if you will excuse me. Susai, 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 um, I think the royal physician should uh, do a checkup before that. Son, if I don't know better, I will say you're excited about this marriage. But no, you're not. May I know the reason you are avoiding this wedding? Mother, I have no idea of what you're talking about. I, I had you reassigned the maid back to your chamber. And I want to ask, what is your interest in this maid? Does she have any reason to do with your disinterest in Mildred? <laughs> Sulusa cannot make me lose interest or dislike Mildred. I know my attention has been more on her lately and me moving her close to me might be misinterpreted, but I assure you, it's very innocent and harmless. I am only protecting and looking out for her because she's my responsibility. Really? She's a maid. And every maid in this palace is my responsibility. I don't know, why are you so fixated on this girl? Must I say this every time? I brought her here. I made a promise to her family and I'm only trying to fulfill it. Well, well um, Queen, please allow him to have a brilliant space. Our son is an honorable man who stands by his words. Mm -hmm. Allow him to fulfill his promise, it's as simple as that. So he's an honorable man that stands by his words? Yes. He assured us he was going to marry Mildred. Why doesn't he want to hurry up and fulfill that obligation and marry her? Stand by your word. You spoke that, didn't you? This is what it comes. I need a word. No one sees what I see. They don't know what she has in her. She's the girl of my dreams. Hey, hey, hey. Where do you think you're going? 
cleansing done, shining, finish. My friend Raymond, wait. I go. You think you're here to serve Raymond? You are here to serve me. Now you're going to do as I say. That bathroom is dirty. Go in there and clean it. I clean already. You clean it when? You clean that bathroom? I clean, I shine. Are you challenging me? You want me to go and clean it? Huh? Oh, so because Raymond is singing love blues to you, you're feeling pompous. Let this uniform remind you who you are. Now go in there and clean that bathroom. It does not eat since morning, no. Now you know you've not eaten. Hungry catch. Now you know you've not eaten and you wanted to go out there to talk to him and entertain him. I will stop this madness. Go in there and clean it. I go. I will break your head so you retrieve your senses. Clean it properly. surprise the prince finally decides to meet his friend and it looks like you have abandoned your princely duties to be chasing after a maid <laughs> what is this a kettle calling the pot black really did you not abandon your duties to be keeping her a prisoner in your chamber yes I even heard you reassigned her to your chamber Wow. You even know where and when she moves. I do. I know you are fighting our love. You are unarguably the villain of my happiness. You may seem to have the upper hand now, no doubt. But I intend to use authority to fight power. And how are you going to do that? That will be very stupid of me to unveil my strategy to you. But be rest assured that I'm coming for you. Bring it on. Raymond, bring it on. But don't forget, do not underestimate your opponent. <laughs> I will never underestimate my opponent. Talk more of when I'm dealing with a formidable force like you. Waiting, Raymond. <laughs> yes. Sure, what sir. is this I'm hearing? Oh, that you're preventing Sinusa from meeting Raymond? You should be happy I am preventing her from rising to royalty. I do not think so. I think you are doing this deliberately. It's intentional, right? Why are you blocking Raman from Mrs. Elisa? These are two adults. They can make their own decisions. So what's your concern? Do you believe that Ramon is in love with Sulusa? He's the future king of his kingdom. And there's no way he intends to make a low-life maid the future queen of his kingdom. And if he pleases to make her grace his bed, how is that your concern? What is your own with that? I can never let that happen. Yes. I promised her people that I'll give her the best. And that is what I'm doing. Giving her the best. You give her the best? A low life maid? A commoner! The best. She cannot have the best. You know why? Because she's just a maid. Just a maid! Your highness, I think this is just too much. You did not promise her a good life. Ramon did. Because you made her a prisoner in your chamber and blocked her from meeting Ramon. I don't know why you're having this conversation because it is none of your business. Really? It is every inch my business because you are my business. I do not understand what is happening here. Tongues are wagging. People are talking on how you get possessed and jealous over Seleucia. I 
common maid. And do you want to listen to me? It breaks my heart to see my fiancée acting such towards a maid. Like one possessed lover over just a maid. Your Highness, with all due respect, please, shake this off your body and come back to your senses because this is not the man I got engaged to. Now you watch your mouth. Watch the way you speak to me. Your Highness, please, come back to your senses. Excuse me. You like to so finance me. Can you fan and stop talking? I talk my mind. Auntie Big Maid, he show me for kitchen, big something like this. Big brother of this thing. He cold will put water. So this I look, he cold. He touch me, I feel cold. Now this is day, and you say I fan again. Why? Just shut, shut, shut up. And this is not a fridge. It is called an air condition. He call you? Because he called me. Can you just fan and stop talking? Before you go and see Ramon. Yes, I see him. What concerns? What concerns? You said you does not like me. Ramon say he likes me. Now you vex him, vex. Why? You think he likes you? He does not like you. He just wants to devour you. He's not going to marry you because he has no interest in you. I am the one who has an interest in you. So you do as I say. Just fine and stop talking. Interest? You, me, interest like this? I walk like this, I sleep. Interest? Raymond, interest I like. This, I don't like. Shut up, my pal. No one sees what I see. They don't know what she has in her. She's the girl of my dreams. Ooh, no matter what, I will make her mine. No one sees what I see. They don't know what she has in her. She's the girl of my dreams. Ooh, no matter what, I will make her mine. She's the girl I want. She's the girl I want. They don't know what she has in her. I will make her mine. She's the girl I want. She's the girl I want. I will make her mine. No matter the No matter what they say, no matter what they think, I will make her mine. She's the girl I want. I will make a mine, no matter the cost. What the hell is going on here? 
What is this? Your Highness, what is this low life me doing on your bed? Can you keep it down? Can you shut your mouth? Keep it down, okay? She's, she's really tired. She's been working a lot. Your Highness, what is this dirty thing doing on your bed? Keep it down. Okay? Can you shut your mouth? She's really tired. She's been working a lot. Amazing. Working on you! I can't believe this! No, no, not on me. She's, she's just work. You're sharing a bed with a maid? <sighs> Michael! Your Majesty, I knew it. I said it. This is not about responsibility anymore. Your Highness, you having feelings for this dirty thing. I, I don't have feelings for her. What, what, what do you mean, I have feelings? She's just sleeping. And She's just sleeping. She's really? very right to assume the worst. This is as bad as it, it, it is already. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Oh, hit, hit her head. I, I wake. Stand I, up. Excuse I, Can you stop? I wake. I wake. I, I, I does not know. I does not know. I, 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 I wake. I, I lie here and I, nothing for nothing with the prince. I, I, I Shut up. Uh, Kneel down. Uh, Kneel down. Swine. What is this? I need you to just shut up. Like I'm losing it. Shut your trap. And stop this pretend. Oh. You have succeeded, right? To call into my mom's head and bed. Really? Listen. I will squeeze out life out of you. And that's the promise. You are too small, you twat! Mildred, you're taking this too far. I told you nothing happened. Amazing. Really? What is wrong with you? I mean, what is wrong with you sharing a bed with a maid? A royal bed. I think you're not thinking clearly anymore. Your head, she has, in fact, she has possessed you like a spirit. Your Majesty, this girl is a witch. It is obvious. You want to have my man wrapped around your finger. You brought your witchcraft to Come close to my man, right? You are making a mistake. I will sniff life out of you. Nothing for nothing with the prince. <sighs> nothing for nothing with the prince. I sleep for floor. I don't know. I wake up bed. Nothing mm -hmm. for nothing. Your father's witchcraft took, took you to the bed. I, I, I carried her to the bed. Oh! And then, your, your highness. Oh, now you put troubles. You put troubles. You put troubles now! I sleep for ground! You put troubles! Can you get out? Get out! <laughs> you put troubles! Get out! Get out! Don't break that door. No, no but shame of yourself! <laughs> Mildred, why are you crying? You know this is too dramatic, right? Really? You think so? Everyone says I'm not worthy of your love, affection, attention. Somehow the news of the maid sleeping on your bed is on the lips of everyone. It's because you're making a big deal out of nothing. I told you nothing happened. She just slept. Can you listen to yourself? Your bed has become a cradle where children, babies, all of them come to lie down. Don't you know no other woman apart from princess should be beside you on your bed? Every other woman found on your bed is considered disrespectful. Get that into your head. So, you find Slusa, the maid, attractive. And air must be in control of his motion. However, you can do whatever you want and still move with the royal wedding with Princess Midwife. Father, 
I... I do not have eyes for Sulusa. My intentions have been completely misconstrued. Your Majesty, I tell you, the prince here is very kind-hearted. And I can see someone taking advantage of that kindness. Is it not better we invite the royal physician to come satisfy him? If he finds him, okay, let us go on with the royal wedding. Delay is dangerous. I agree with you. I will send for him immediately. Be prepared. Hello, boy. I will come to visit your father and you will offer me a piece of food. Oh! <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Raymond! Right what are you doing here? Your Majesty, it breaks my heart to see that my own best friend is asking me what I'm doing in the palace. Look at the crap and state your business. You and I know you're not here to see me. Okay. <clears throat> Seems you want me to go direct. I will. Your Majesty, a delectable apple has been found in your palace. And I've come to pluck it with your permission, Your Majesty. But what must have caught your attention? The last time I checked, I did not have a daughter. Oh, Your Majesty. I have found love in the eyes of a maid, Sulusa, and I've come to ask for her hand with your permission. Is your father aware of your intention to marry a maid? Oh, yes, Your Majesty. My father, the king, approves of my decision to marry for love. He is willing and ready to support my happiness. I'll be so grateful if my humble request is approved by Your Majesty. Well, well, um, if your father is in support of your intention, I stand by it. What? Yes, he's my friend. Thank you, Your Majesty. I will seek for Sulusa's hand as soon as possible and make her my queen. Thank you so much. Raymond, whatever you're looking for, you're going to get it. But I swear on my royal blood that your inordinate ambition will never see the day of light. I promise you that. What a kingdom to Lucha, blessed with the prince as bold as a lion. What? Your Majesty, I wish I can tell. But Your Majesty, to the best of my knowledge, your word and command is supreme. I owe you an apology. I overreacted a few days ago. That's an understatement. You almost lost it. Let me ask you, are you in love with Sulusa? Because you acted like a jealous lover. You are my brother and friend. Not opening up to you has been insensitive of me. Can it not be Sulusa? Why not? You, you are engaged to be married to. Thank you. Thank you. You are engaged to Mildred. You are engaged to be married to Mildred. So why not Solusa? Can you just trust me on this? Huh? Just trust me. There is something you do not know. A deep secret that has been giving me sleepless nights. Just let it go. I will not. I mean, not when the king has given me his blessings. I love her. Only if you can give me a reason that is a matter of life and death. If not, I won't let her go. You cannot marry Sulusa because she's a married woman. And I'm only trying to protect her dignity as a married woman. 
How is that even possible? How? I mean, how is a married woman a maid in the palace? But, I mean, who is she married to? And why is she not with her husband? It all happened when I traveled to Budubu community on my last adventure. You must be a stranger. I don't know what you must have had concerning this village. You don't come to this village and defy our daughter without the intention to marry. You don't. Wait, what? Defy who? Our daughter. I, 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 did, I did not defy this girl. Look, it's, it was raining and I, I needed shelter. I saw this hut and I ran into the hut to wait for the rain to stop. I did not know she was in there. Her mother just came in and started accusing me of taking advantage of, of, of her daughter. I, did, did I touch you? He does not touch. I, did he touch her? He does not touch me. Um, um, I have problems with mother. Mother Poshu. Mother Poshu, I run. So I run, I hide. Rain falls. So I go roof. I stay roof, I see brother. Mother comes. Mother say we do man and woman. We does not do man and woman. It does not touch me. I, 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 did, I did touch her. Foolish! You, my daughter, together, doing it. You do something. We does not do. Eh. You do something. You, you do something. Tuza, tuza. Hmm. The law of the land is simple. Whoever that is caught with a young maiden in this village. Doing such a thing is either you marry that young lady or you die. What? Eh? Wait, wait. Come on, man. I, I can't marry her. I have a fiancé back home. Look, look there's, there's, there's been a little misunderstanding, okay? You tell them that we, we, we didn't do anything? Huh? You're, you're eyeing me. Tell them we didn't do anything. You're eyeing me. I talks. I talks. Look here. Our people are already at the village square, waiting. For what? Take them to the village square for the marriage rites. Immediately. Get up! Dancing! 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 Dancing!
So you are telling me that you are married to Solusa. She's your wife. I was forced at Cutlass, Machets and Dagger Points to marry her. If I had refused, they would have killed me. Now I see why you are trying to avoid marrying Mildred. Because if you marry her, she'll become a second wife. Because you're already married. Now I see your plight. I'm sorry I did not trust you on this secret. But I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. Listen, the marriage can be nullified. As it was done against your wish. Yes, you have to tell your father so that such a barbaric law cannot prevail over your choice. No one should be treated the way you were treated, especially when it's a royal prince like you. If my father finds out that his son was threatened, don't you think he's going to go to war with this community? How do you think all of this is going to end? But unfortunately, they will find out. So it's better you tell them the truth and control the narrative. But once the unadulterated truth comes to light, there is nothing stopping your father from unleashing his wrath. You know what? I can handle it. But I want you to back off. Sulusa is my wife. And it hurts me to see her as a maid. This is the only way I can protect her until I find the right time to set things right. <laughs> What a twist. So the future queen of this kingdom <laughs> is the lowest maid. <sighs> I see. <laughs> Salus! Salu what? Salusa, Salu. What about? Why is this stupid fool? Why is this, why is this idiot? Salusa! Salusa! Are you daft or something? Hey! Oh. Hey! Zukuru! Zukuru! You okay? Zukuru! I've told you so many times to be careful. I injure you. Sorry. I injure you. Sorry, sorry. Oh. Yeah. Now I come. I, I come. Shut up! Shut, shut, shut up! Disgust me! Shut up! Are you hurt? Can you walk? Work and management. Okay. Hey! <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Sorry. Painfulness. Painfulness. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> My friend, that he does not come to look for me again. What I tell him? I told Raymond why he cannot see or be with you. Why you liar for him? 
Why? What liar you liar to him? To make him not to come. He does not ask me. He does not see me. I told him the truth. What? That you're already married and you cannot be with him. I marry? I marry? Wife like this? I wife? No, talks. I wife? You find trouble. You find trouble because you say I am illiterating. That nothing will consign royals and common that they cannot do. Now Ramon comes. He says it's okay to dance with me. And now you tell lie. I marry, I slave in my husband's house. My husband does not show love. He does not do, he does not do anything. I marry. I told him the truth about everything that happened that day. I told him that I am your husband. You are not any banding. You and me cannot band any banding. I does not marry you. I single. You tox it. You tox it. You insulted me. You, you, you tell me that I and you cannot come togetherness. That the common and the royal cannot be together. That I, I... No one sees what I see. They don't know what she has. You look worried. Your Majesty, I am worried. You know, you told our son that he can actually sleep with the maid. If he is obsessed with her, go ahead to marry Mildred. But I, I don't see things in that light. Whatever he feels for that maid is beyond infatuation. I want you to understand that our son understands quite well that it's highly appropriate for him to marry a commoner. Your Majesty, our son is aware of all that. But when it comes to the matters of the heart, police, army, law court, even the highest judge cannot stop the man or woman who is in love. Oh, stop. He cannot defy the sacred tradition. There's no way he will fall for a moment. Initially, she wasn't his type or up to his status. But she's growing up to him. Our son feels something deep for that, for that girl. And it's a huge problem. I don't want you to disturb your head over that. I will fix it. I will fix it. I will make her mine. She's the girl I want. She's the girl I want. Just because the prince is temporarily insane, thinking he's in love with you does not give you the right to walk up to me in my lonely time to disturb me. Are you mad? I thank God. Prince talk. I does not ask question. I believe. Now I ask, why you do what you do? Because the drink, the tea you give Prince, I check. I test. Now I see you put one medicine. We call Mende Mende. Mende, Mende, you take, he kill you small inside, you take, he kill you small inside, you sleep, you die. We call sleep and die. Why you do? Why you do? Talks, why you do? <laughs> There's something wrong with you. Such grave accusations? How can you prove it? I prove! Because I keep small. Yes, I see up, you remain, I keep. I take to king and I open your anus. <laughs> Please. 